What's up, y'all? It's Chuka the Barber with another episode of the Rich Barber TV. And uh, this week I'm talking about perfecting the blend. And the blend is a vital part of um, time right now in the barber industry where detail is everything. So one thing that I noticed that really keep people from perfecting their blends is the fact that um, they don't blend tight enough. And when I say tight enough, they, they, they don't remove enough hair. And the most important part, time when you want to remove uh, the most amount of hair and make it the tightest is before you even put a guard on the clipper. Okay, you're able to when, it, when there's no guard on there, you're really able to get a nice clean blend and make it real tight and really and that will really determine on how well the blend kind of looks. Okay, so most people when they're learning or when they're trying to uh, develop a, a, a the blend. They're not removing enough hair. They're not blending tight enough because they're afraid to remove uh, so much hair because there's really no going back. But at the same time, it really, really, it's, it's, it's what really brings out the blend is removing the hair. So you want to blend things tight. If you look at some of these haircuts that I got right here, um, you can see that the blend is tight, especially like the lower part of the area is tight and it really blends it out and it really makes it look a whole lot uh, cleaner and um and perfect it. Now, if I was to really kind of like keep loose ends of hair and not blend it so tight, then it's not the, the blend isn't gonna look as clean, okay? And you wanna always, after that, after you get the blend tight, you wanna make sure that you, even when you put the guards on, you still wanna kind of keep it tight. You want the hair laying a certain way. You want it to be laying kind of tight. You don't want it to be loose. If you got loose hairs that are still kind of long, that still kind of have like a looseness to it, it affects the blend and it doesn't look as clean, it doesn't look as tight. So you want to even just kind of keep that more tight to where the hair is kind of laying clean all along the blend and then when it gets into the bulk of the hair, the hair can kind of be more loose and longer and um, but in the blend, the hair, you want it to be controlled and when I say controlled, you want it to be sticking out, you want it to be blended, you want it to be tight and controlled and then as it gets into the bulk, it can be a little loose. But that's what's gonna really perfect your blend. And if you can get that down, if you can comprehend what I'm talking about and really get it down like that, it's gonna bring out your cuts a whole lot more. So don't be afraid to remove hair. Another thing is like that, um, at the, the touch-ups afterwards. Um, don't leave dark spots, you know what I mean? So um, one way to eliminate you leaving dark spots in your blends and in your fades is really going at the right tempo of the clipper. Really take, let, let the clipper do its work. You know I mean, don't rush through it, but kinda, like let it do its work get the right tempo of the clipper and and it, it cut it smoother and then you'll have less like touch up work to do as far as with dark spots and stuff like that but you want to work those dark spots off and so a great way to really like continue to um, grow with your uh, blends and really perfect it is uh, take pictures of your haircuts once they're done and have another picture of a haircut that you uh, a blend that you want to get yours to and put them side by side and see the difference see that um, oh, um, you'll, you'll definitely see that one's blended tighter if, if there's a difference. Like you'll see really good blends are always blended kind of tight and there's really not no dark spots and there, there's a con consistency all the way across the blend. All right, so if you're doing a fade or if you're doing a taper and whatever way you kind of start that initial guideline, there should be a consistency along the blend. It shouldn't really kind of like move too much. Even with a fade, it shouldn't be kind of like moving. A lot of times, You'll see blend, I'll see blends and it'll be like, it'll like move, it's not consistent. But if you can keep that consistency all the way through the blend, it makes it perfect, it makes it look a whole lot better and you can really um, take your blends to the next level. So try that out. So thanks for watching the Rich Barber TV. We're here every week with good game knowledge, information to help you take your barber career to the next level. Any suggestions, put them in the comment area. Any feedback, put it in the comment area and uh, make sure to subscribe. I'll catch y'all next week. Peace.